GBR12935 update. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little quick update video on GBR12935. So hopefully I don't have to say that too much because it's a mouthful. When I first did a review on this substance, I didn't really understand how it worked. I kind of thought it was more just for kind of like feeling good because it has an effect on dopamine. It's supposed to like block the reuptake of dopamine like tons and tons and tons but it also at the same time blocks the release of dopamine. All of the dopamine that is in your body is being used more efficiently, but at the same time, you're not releasing more dopamine. So I assume that that was gonna make you feel a little bit good. I always felt a little bit kind of mixed. Like I wouldn't say I felt bad, but I just feel a little off, a little weird with it. You know what I mean? This is $70 for a gram on Alcon Chem. And if you compare that to the modafinil analogs, I mean, you could just get so much more value out of those modafinil analogs than this. However, when I was uploading the video review of it, I was for some reason, I was just like, I'm just gonna deep dive into these compounds. So I deep dove for like two or three hours. It seems like one of the biggest things this was studied for was treating cocaine dependence because it does a lot of things simultaneously. So again, like I was saying, it blocks the release of dopamine. So they did this study to where if you have a little bit of the GBR, I don't know if it was the 909 or the 935, they're very chemically similar. So I assume that they work the same, but they found that if you were to take, you know, like a decent amount of cocaine and then a small amount of GBR in, in a certain dose, like the original effect you'd have on cocaine was cut in half. So just by taking the GBR at a certain dose with cocaine in a certain dose, um, you were actually blocking some of the effects with it, which would be good for cocaine addiction because if they're going to get the cocaine and it's just not giving them the same feeling, eventually they're just gonna give up and quit, right? So you have that aspect. But then they also had this other aspect to where they, they checked out the mice's brain and like when they would use the GBR, all their levels were 100% normal with dopamine, like 100%, except for the DAT, which is the dopamine transporter, I think. And again, I don't understand this fully, but I think the dopamine transmitter turns dopamine into other things. So if your dopamine transmitter was lower, that would mean that you have more dopamine in your system because less is getting converted. I don't know. But besides the DAT, all the dopamine levels were normal, meaning that if you were to take this supplement, you could kind of take it however you want. And the only thing that's going to get lowered is your DAT. And again, I don't know enough about this. Maybe it's more important. Maybe it's not. You have to like do some more research. The last study that they had on it was, I think they gave rats a bunch of cocaine and then they gave rats either GBR or water afterwards to like wean them off. And they found that the rats' brains returned to normal quicker after the GBR versus the water, which would lead you to believe that if you were to take some GBR, that it would, besides the DAT, it would actually heal your other dopamine levels faster. So it seems to have this effect of kind of healing your dopamine receptors similar to phenylprastam hydrazide. And that's what I've been using in place of phenylprastam hydrazide, just because I ran out of it and it's so much money and I just fly through the phenylprastam. So they're both pretty good. I would say the phenylprastam, it feels a lot better. I enjoy taking it. I could take it all the time. I have noticed that if I take the GBR a day after, you know, more dopamine style stimulants that the whole day that I take it, I don't really feel necessarily good or bad, but the next day I wake up feeling like I never took anything at all, like just everything's perfect. So. I do feel like it really does bring your um, dopamine back to normal quick. And it might also work synergistically with nicotine because nicotine boosts your dopamine to I think like 300 or 400. So maybe taking a little bit of GBR would make it so it doesn't go so high. Remember we were talking about the cocaine, how it would like cocaine would normally get your dopamine up here. But when you take the same amount with GBR, it's kind of lowered. So the same effect might happen with nicotine and it might even be easier to get off nicotine. It might heal your dopamine receptors faster taking this. But if you have this or phenylprastam hydrazide, phenylprastam hydrazide is way more studied, way more accessible, cheaper, feels better, but this is an option if you're somebody who wants this dopamine style effect, this healing style effect, and you wanna just spend the money on a gram of this and try it out, it actually does work. 
Then the other thing that I noticed was, um, I think I'll have to find the, the literature on this. I, I said it in a post, but they were trying to like cause some heart issues with these rats, like some skipping or some sort of arrhythmia or something like that. And um, they noticed that when they gave them the GBR, it was almost impossible to cause this rhythm. It seems like if you were to do, you know, a lot of illegal drugs, a lot of those stimulants, you would think that your heart might be a little messed up, might like not be beating correctly. It's almost like the perfect thing for like a cocaine abuser because your cocaine isn't working as much, your dopamine is getting healed faster, and at the same time, you would avoid any sort of heart complications. Like I know this, that if I take a lot of stimulants, I might have some heart issues. I don't wanna worry about like skipping and things like that. And I'm not guaranteeing this, but it seems like it would help with a more natural heartbeat from the research that I've done, and I've never felt any sort of abnormal heartbeat taking it. So. Anyways, guys, big update on GBR12935. I recommend it if you're somebody who likes phenylpyrazotam for those dopamine boosting effects and you wanna try something different. You have this one here. It's a little expensive, but it is what it is. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this compound. Let me know what other supplements you want me to review. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.